Is there a neighboring alien race? This is not out of the question. In about 2020, we uncovered a transmission coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri, our nearest neighbor star. Project Breakthrough Listen has designated this signal as BLC-1, and further research is being done to make sure it isn't just an echo of our own civilization. But then why not check the Proxima Centauri system directly to discover if there's life there? One of the primary goals of the James Webb Space Telescope is to find habitable exoplanets, where one day we might be able to look for signs of life beyond our own planet. Lights detected by the new and powerful JWST could provide the ultimate solid evidence that an exoplanet known as Proxima b is inhabited by aliens, and scientists are using it to make this determination. Still, habitability isn't easy to pin down, and discovering another Earth-like planet may prove more challenging than you anticipate. Watch the video closely. It's about to become intense. If you've ever wondered why we as a species are confined to Earth, you're not alone. That's a topic that's baffled our species for eons. The topic of whether or not we are alone in the universe is another intriguing one. Is it just us who are questioning if we are the only ones in the universe? Will they try to get in touch with us? Or are they even watching us? We have spent billions of dollars trying to address these concerns, yet, yet no clear solutions have emerged. Elon Musk's SpaceX is spearheading the fight to turn Mars into a permanent human colony, and the Red Planet is increasingly seen as humanity's next possible home. Satellites such as the European Space Agency's Mars Express have detected possible signs of microbial life on Mars, maybe in the polar regions or in subsurface lakes. These kinds of places have the potential to preserve life despite the planet's harsh surface conditions. Life as we know it today, which is microorganisms, would be invisible to a spaceship in orbit around Mars. As an alternative, we could use chemical fingerprints associated with life called biosignatures to indirectly identify it. The proximity of Mars to Earth makes the prospect of human colonization there a real one, albeit one fraught with challenges. However, our film today will focus on a different kind of planet known as exoplanets and the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, that will be used to study them. Let's quickly review the definition of an exoplanet. The Sun is at the center of our solar system's planetary orbits. Extrasolar planets, or exoplanets, are those that have been confirmed to orbit stars other than their host stars. It's quite challenging to make direct observations of exoplanets using telescopes. They are obscured from view by the intense light of the stars they circle, so astronomers use other techniques to find and examine these distant planets. As a means of detecting exoplanets, astronomers watch for telltale changes to the stars their targets orbit. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union accepted the controversial Pluto-less planet concept, now classified as a dwarf planet. And what exactly are the criteria that define a planet as such? Planets must be huge enough that their gravity causes them to take on a spherical shape. They must also clear their orbits of other bodies making them the largest object in the radius of their orbit. As the prefix exo is short for extrasolar, which means beyond our sun, exoplanets are simply planets that circle stars other than our sun. As of October 1st, 2020, we had discovered 4,354 exoplanets in 3,218 planetary systems. The percentage of multi-planet systems among those is roughly 22%. Here are the several types of exoplanets we've found so far. Gas giants like Saturn and Jupiter are enormous planets whose atmospheres are primarily composed of gas. Like Uranus and Neptune, in size, ice giants have a thick layer of ice on their surfaces and a thin layer of ice over their gas atmospheres. Exoplanets that are larger than Earth but less than Neptune are called super-Earths, and they can be either rocky or gas-encased, terrestrial or rocky around the size of Earth. Hot Jupiters are a frequent class of exoplanets, so you've probably heard of them. They're similar to gas giants in many ways, but their close proximity to their stars means that their surfaces and atmospheres are exceedingly hot. Their orbit around the star is likewise extremely rapid, taking place in as little as a single day. Planets the size of Earth, but with temperatures much higher than our own, are called lava worlds. And they're another fascinating form of exoplanet. 
For instance, Kepler-78b orbits its star at a distance of only 1% of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. It's safe to assume that Kepler-78b's surface temperature is hotter than 2,000 degrees Celsius. Because of this, you may be wondering if there are any habitable exoplanets out there. We can only speculate, but there is a vast number of likely suspects. The closest potentially habitable exoplanet is only 4.2 light years away. Proxima Centauri b is a super-Earth that is somewhat bigger than Earth and is in the solar system closest to our own. Its center of mass is the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. Taking the bare minimum into account, Proxima b is only 17% heavier than Earth. This discovery adds to the growing body of evidence indicating Proxima b is, at least in terms of size, quite similar to Earth. So, what gives with this planet that's roughly the size of Earth? Interesting alien world that orbits Proxima Centauri, the Sun's closest neighbor. It's possible that liquid water and even life could exist on this planet because it orbits within the star's habitable zone. Researchers think Proxima b, like Earth, could be a rocky terrestrial planet because of its Earth-like mass. And they're not the only ones who think it could have liquid water. However, Proxima b circles a star that is far smaller and less massive than our Sun, while being very close to our solar system. Scientists think the exoplanet is tidally locked, meaning that one side always points toward its star, while the other always points away, creating a light side and a dark side. How exactly will the James Webb Space Telescope provide evidence that life exists beyond Earth? Whether, or if, Proxima b has an atmosphere is currently a mystery. The planet completes one orbit of its star once every 11 Earth days. Radiation from Proxima Centauri may have depleted the atmosphere of the alien planet Proxima b, making it unable to support liquid water on its surface, according to some scientists. But with the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers will soon have a much clearer picture on life on Proxima b and its environment. Yet if Proxima b has an atmosphere, water, carbon dioxide, and rock may all be there and interacting on its surface, laying the groundwork for the biochemical cycles that define life. Radio astronomers have found evidence of radio communications near Proxima b, but they believe the signals were most likely just background noise. Because the side of the exoplanet unaffected by radiation is always dark, the advanced civilization that chooses to settle there may have to resort to using powerful mirrors or extremely brilliant LED-style lights to illuminate their cities. When viewed from orbit, Earth's nighttime luminosity is the most telling sign that life exists here. Cities around the world produce light that is reflected throughout the universe. The problem is that telescopes we have right now aren't powerful enough to pick up signals from other worlds. However, the next-generation James Webb Space Telescope's capabilities have already been evaluated on paper by a number of academics. Yes, if we were technologically advanced enough or intelligent enough, we could check to discover if life exists on Proxima Centauri. Alien technology on another planet can be spotted in a number of ways. For instance, we could be able to see the light of a distant globe because of the transit of a massive constellation of satellites in the direction we're traveling. Nuclear confrontation may cause observable air pollution. The technical indications could have been caused by natural occurrences, such as orbital debris or a comet collision. But artificial illumination is different from natural starlight. JWST was tested by Stanford's Elisa Tabor and Harvard's Abraham Loeb. Tabor and Loeb determined the amount of artificial light as a percentage of the solar light reflected by the day side of the planet. When the night side of the planet registers at 0%, that means there is no artificial light at all. The night side of the globe is just as bright as the day side at 100%. LEDs, which are used on Earth and have a specific artificial spectrum, are expected to be similar to the type of light used by a hypothetical civilization on Proxima b. What happened then? If the artificial night side illumination of Proxima b approaches 5% of the natural day side illumination, the James Webb Space Telescope may be able to identify artificial light with an accuracy of 85%. If the amount of artificial light exceeds 9%, JWST will have a 95% chance of making a detection. It doesn't seem like much light, does it? If it's only 5%. After all, stellar radiation is what we're discussing here. There's still a lot of light from Proxima Centauri, even if it is 20,000 times weaker than our Sun. 
While the stars provide 99.99% of the light that reaches Earth, artificial light only makes up 0.001% of the total. What this means is that if Proxima b hosts a culture on par with our own, JWST will not be able to detect it. The brightness of those lights must have multiplied by a factor of 500. That might very well happen. Because of how close Proxima b orbits its star, it's possible that the planet is tidally locked, with only one side of the planet ever being in direct sunlight. Tabor and Loeb argue that a civilization on a tidally locked planet would use extremely strong orbiting mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the planet's night side, which our telescopes might then see. Tabor and Loeb claim that future telescopes like Louvoir, Large UV Optical Infrared Surveyor, will be even more effective than JWST at picking up the light of a faraway civilization. In 2035, we should see the launches of both Louvoir and HabX, both of which will catalog and directly picture exoplanets. Assuming technological civilizations have a lengthy lifespan, it's plausible that an extraterrestrial culture has already reached this level of urbanization. The truth is we have no idea how long technological civilizations last. When we come across another light in the darkness, it gives us faith that we can do the same. Perhaps intelligent aliens on Proxima Centauri b are also using telescopes to look out into the cosmos and wonder if they are alone. Do you have any thoughts on the matter? Are aliens likely to inhabit Proxima b? Let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel and leave this video a like to stay updated on the latest James Webb telescope updates, NASA news, and other incredible space stories. We have another interesting video ready for you. Tap on the video on your screen and let us amaze you with another incredible space adventure.